Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited to film this video for you guys today and I meant to post it last week but I got really sick so here we are today as you can see by the title this is three struggles of being a Christian YouTuber. So I love being a Christian YouTuber. I've been a Christian YouTuber for about a year now and I absolutely love it, you guys. I love being able to share the gospel. I love being able to inspire you and build you up in some way and strengthen your relationship with Jesus. Like, that is where my heart is 100%. And in no way am I trying to come across like I am complaining or like I'm being negative in this video at all. I want to share with you guys my struggles because on a screen, things can look so much prettier than they actually are in real life. And a lot of people tend to cover things up, you know? It's not easy to share that you're struggling in your relationship with God when you're a Christian YouTuber. And as a Christian YouTuber, I have always loved to share hindsight of my trials and tribulations because there's always a lesson in it. God is always teaching me something. The things that I learn are the things that I wanna share with you because I look back at my younger self who didn't have a good female role model and I'm not trying I mean I'm not anything y'all it's God it's God it's I'm not doing anything it's all God but if I could help someone else in any way that is my heart you guys that is what I want for my life like that is what I love but we struggle everybody struggles your favorite celebrities actors youtubers your friends, your parents, we all struggle, sweet friends. And I want to share things that I've gone through because this is real life, you guys. And I thought about just waiting for that season that I am okay again, that I'm not struggling anymore, and then share with you guys what I went through. But sometimes it's just not as easy as getting over something or getting through something. We wanna get through things quickly. We want to, to just snap back really quick, but it's not always like that, sweet friends. So I wanna share the things that I'm struggling with to maybe hopefully relate to you. And if this could help you in any way, then that would be the biggest blessing. So here we go. This is three struggles of being a Christian YouTuber. Number one, when you're struggling with your relationship with God, who is struggling with your relationship with God? Raise your hand right now, because y'all, I have been struggling with my relationship with God. I have been struggling to find that fire again with God, to find that relationship where I get up every day and I want to read my Bible and I want to spend time with God I have been struggling you guys and that is the hundred percent truth and as a Christian youtuber I'm not supposed to struggle with these things I'm supposed to be an example but how can I tell you guys to read your Bible every day if I'm struggling too. Y'all, these are the things that really get to me. These are the things that that I, I get upset about because I wanna be perfect. And I want everybody to have a relationship with God. I don't want to hinder that for anybody else. I think that having a relationship with God is the most amazing thing and it's the most important thing and I talk about it so much on my channel. But it's hard for me to tell you guys to read your Bible when I'm struggling to read mine, y'all. Like it's hard for me to tell you to write in your prayer journal when I'm struggling to write in mine every day. And sometimes it could feel a little like disingenuous, like I'm not being genuine. And that's why my content has slowed down because I don't want to be that person. Sweet friends, I don't want to be that person who's telling you when I'm over here struggling. You know, and I know that we all struggle and it's okay. Sweet friend, I want to tell you right now, if you are going through the same thing I'm going through, God doesn't love you any less because you don't open up your Bible. God doesn't love you any less because you don't write in your prayer journal seven days out of the week. 
God loves you no matter what, sweet friend, because his son Jesus died on the cross for you. It's not about the legalistic things, y'all. It's not about having the most amazing Bible time routine. You know, reading the Bible morning, noon, and night, 24-7. God doesn't love you any less, sweet friend. And I want to remind you that because this is something that I had to remind myself. God doesn't want to be an obligation in our life. He wants us to come to Him openly, willingly, humbly. And so if we're struggling to come to God, we just need to sort out what we're going through. And that's what I'm trying to do, sweet friend. I'm, I'm slowly getting back. And one little piece of encouragement that I want to share that has really helped me also is to ask God to light that little fire in your heart for Him again, sweet friend. To ask God to 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 help you to start seeking him to to motivate you to spend time in his word or spend time with him every day sweet friend ask god to help you through this just because we're struggling doesn't mean we have to be a million miles away from god it doesn't mean we just have to shut out god completely god is there and he wants to spend time with us you guys god's love for us is so reckless he sees you struggling he's fighting for you sweet friend just rely on god and he will bring you back in sweet friend he leaves the 99 for you to come and bring you back in so the second struggle of being a christian youtuber is when you're trying to find your own place in ministry when it comes to ministry there are so many different things you can do the scale is so wide when it comes to ministry you can do absolutely anything and i have really found my spot here on youtube but I want to do other things. I want to branch out. You know, I want to do more for God, for ministry. And the biggest struggle that I keep facing is what does God want me to do? It is so easy to find a path that others have taken and just take that path. You know, it's a lot easier. It's already been figured out for you. All you got to do is just walk through the path and you're good to go. You don't have to do any of the hard work. But y'all, I want to do the hard work. I want to find the place that God wants me to be instead of me following the paths of others like I have done in the past. Whenever I started my website, I was taking another creator's class online about starting ministry and things like that. And she was doing such a great job. She gave a great outline of what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it and things like that. And that was great. Really helped me so much when it comes to ministry. I learned so much, but I got so caught up in following that path precisely. Instead of finding my sweet spot, and y'all, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to find it, but it's just been such a struggle. And that's kind of another reason why things have slowed down is because I'm really just trying to find where God wants me to be. And I know it's a process. Um, I don't know, like I said, if I want to continue with my website. I don't know if I should keep doing like the reels, the live streams, uh, work on another platform. Like I don't know what to do, sweet friends. Um, but I know that I just have to continue to rely on God and he will show me. Um, I encourage you though, if there is something that you want to see from me as far as like YouTube or just in general, please let me know. Like, do you like the live streams on Instagram? Do you like certain type of videos? I obviously would love to hear your opinion. Um, so anyways, yeah, that is what I have been struggling with. Um, and I have really just been relying on God through this and just praying and asking him what he wants me to do and asking him to just guide me towards his will. And I feel like that's just the best thing to do for right now. So number three is when life gets overwhelming. You guys, these last like three months have been so hard for me. And as a YouTuber, it is difficult for me 
to just stop posting content and it has been difficult for me because I haven't posted nearly as much as I normally do but it's difficult because I want to be there for you guys I want to post two videos a week I want to do the live streams or whatever it is that, that helps you guys out the most but it is so hard to do those things when you're struggling with other things. And I've been going through a lot, y'all. Like, my Nana died recently. I've been going through a lot of stress um, and anxiety. And it's like that song. You know the song, Even If by Mercy Me? Um, it says, stood on the stage night after night. Reminding the broken, it'll be alright. But right now, right now, I just can't. It is so hard to remind the broken that things will be okay when you're struggling, when you're feeling broken inside, y'all. Like, it's so hard. And lately, life has just gotten so overwhelming that it's so hard for me to be that bright spot whenever I'm just sh struggling so much. And that's why I had just had to take a little bit of time for myself because... I just, I needed it, sweet friends. Like, I needed it. And I'm so sorry that I haven't been posting as much as I as I want to. Like, I want to post seven days a week. Let's be real. Like, if I could, I would. That's how much I love ministry and helping and, and, and spreading the gospel and being a voice for my Heavenly Father who has been so good to me. Like, that's why. Because I just, I want to be there. I want to help. And, you know that's the struggle of being a christian youtuber is that when you're struggling it's so hard but you still want to like you want to 100 percent. it's just it's difficult so similar to what i said in my mental reset routine if you're struggling do what you need to do for you so you can be okay again if you need to take a break if you need to to cry if you need to talk to somebody do what you need to do to get back to you because sweet friends like life is too short to feel this way to be stuck like this forever and i know with a lot of things it takes so much time to get back to to where you were but it's a day at a time sweet friends it's a process just continue to push yourself day after day and eventually you will be okay again, sweet friends. And I know that sometimes it could be hard to go to God, but he is always there for you. And that's one thing that he's been reminding me over and over and over again, y'all. Struggle after struggle is that he is there that he will always be there i love you so much sweet friends and i really do pray that this video helped you i like i said i'm not trying to come off like i'm complaining because i love doing this right here i love it <laughs> i just am struggling and i wanted to be open with you guys but i love you so much more importantly jesus loves you i'll see you in the next one stay beautiful Mwah.